following a little footpath through some rejuvenated woodlands uh, high above Loch Hoon in the Western Highlands. It's, um, it's been originally an oak wood, but I have to say that it seems that the birch and, and the bracken has rejuvenated much, much better than the oak, although there is uh, some quite pleasant oak still around, still looking uh, fairly healthy. This is the start to walk, it's a steep start to walk up onto a ridge which is going to take me up onto one of my favourite mountains on the Western Highlands. A mountain that has uh, resonances of um, the, the, the works of a writer who inspired me greatly many, many years ago to, to pack in my job uh, and come and live in the Highlands. The mountain is Ben Screel. I was referring to of course was the great Gavin Maxwell and uh, Gavin Maxwell came to this area of the Western Highlands and um, settled at a place called Sandake Bay which, which he um, referred to as Camasferna, the Bay of the Alders. It's not very far from here, but just down at the foot of the hill. And of course it was there he wrote some of his great books including his, his study of, of, of wild otters in um, Ring of Bright Water, a book that inspired me and probably thousands like me. It also, also became quite a well-known film. But I always like to come up to Ben Screel here and kind of consider this mountain as a, a living memorial to Gavin Maxwell. And I think that's, I don't know, I think it sort of stands for much more than any plaque or any stone memorial uh, down by the roadside. Ben Screel at 974 metres. Um, there are actually two uh, tops to Ben Screel, the other one slightly further east, and that's the route that we take to go down into Arnestale. It's a long descent down quite a lot of scree slopes, um, but that takes you down to Arnestale, and then there's a walk back along the road uh, to where we left uh, our, our car. Um, it is a terrific mountain. Uh, the weather's just beginning to change. I've got some, some mist and clouds just rolling in now, but uh, you know, when it's clear as it was all the way up, you can see across Loch Huon to the big hills of Noidat, uh, Larvin, uh, Lunavan, uh, uh, way across to Skornakis, and then of course, uh, just slightly further north, all the, the hills of Glenshiel. And uh, you can see the hills of Skye today as well. So it really is a terrific mountain, and I think a very worthwhile. Um, memorial to that great writer, uh, Gavin Maxwell.